What you will learn after today's video is two separate things. The very first is how you can find your competition's hidden backlinks. Secondly, what you'll walk away learning is going to be how you can find the most authoritative backlinks according to Google. So I don't want to waste any time. I want to get directly into today's SEO tips. But first, why would I want to know what, what like if my competition's hiding backlinks why do i care why do i want to see them because we want to know exactly what you're de what we're dealing with see a lot of times a competitor especially in high competition niches they're going to block their networks they're going to block from spiders such as href spider or semrush bot or mozbot they're going to block these backlink analysis tools the reason is is because they don't want seos like yourself or myself looking at these backlink profiles to determine the actual strength that's going to the site so what i want to break down today and what you're going to learn is just one more way one more like another piece to the puzzle to be able to say hey are, you know they're blocking these tools and i don't see them but is there anything that maybe they're hiding this could be a leg up hey i could see hey they built in this trust flow 80 link where's that coming from then you know, hey, they have a site-wide footer Trustflow 70 link. We should go out and get something power, right? Some power for ourselves. Along with that, I'll show you another little trick. It's an SEO tip because what's great about Google is they're going to list the most authoritative. So I'm going to share with you advanced search operators that will not only A, show me hidden links. They might have blocked the bots like SEMrush and Moz and Ahrefs, but they didn't block Google. So I'll share with you how we could do a search. And then right after that, following up using the same advanced search operators, I'll also show you how you can determine the most authoritative links because Google's going to list them most authoritative and relevant first, and then it'll go right down the list. So let me share with you these search operators so you can start finding hidden links and you can also see the most authoritative in order so let me share this with you so the very first thing is open up your google browser you might want a fresh browser go into the history clear out your history we're going to start with a fresh google browser so we're inside of google in one of my accounts and what we're going to do is search one of my websites that i control that's chrispalmermarketing.com so how you will want to do this is very simple you're going to put a quotation mark and then you're going to type in Chris Palmer marketing.com or whoever your competitor is. You're going to put that into quotation marks. Next, you're going to hit the space bar, hit the minus key, and then you're going to type site colon Chris Palmer marketing. Okay. Now what's going to be returned are the most authoritative backlinks and also it's going to start listing the backlinks that are pointing in that are located in the search results ones that made it to the search results all right so there might be a lot more links that are indexed and that's a whole nother video for another day but these are the ones that made it into the search results okay so what we can do then is we can make our scan through here and if you take note they're literally listing according to Google, not my approximation, that these are the most authoritative links and the most relevant from top to bottom. All right. So we have our LinkedIn, our Twitter, our Crunchbase, our Inc.com, our Site Jabber. And, and I want you to take note of the links for your own website and your competitors' websites. Hey, is there certain social profiles or certain web twos or is there certain review sites that they have that I can go get? Go and get them. Google's listing the most authoritative here. So this is one of the searches. And again, I'm not here to point out links or give recommendations. I want to show you these advanced search operators so you can go out and start finding hidden links and the most authoritative links that your competitors have. Now, again, you can switch these up, but it's quotation marks with chrispalmermarketing.com minus site colon chrispalmermarketing.com. Now, inside the quotation marks, there's multiple variations. You see when people are buying PBN links, or maybe they're setting up their own networks. They're trying to be relatively clever in a way. Now they might, if, if they're really clever, they'll bot, block all of the search bots like uh, Ahrefs and all of this, uh, Moz, all the backlink analysis tools, but they won't block Google. Now, if they're ultra clever, they will block Google. It'll be a no index, but it'll be a follow page. But again, this is another topic for another day. 
we want to see what made it to the search results. So here's one more search. So we have this inside of here. So if we want to search all the variations, right? We want to see all the links that might be hidden pointing to the site because we're, we're looking for Chris Palmer marketing minus this particular site. Okay. So that means it's backlinks coming in. All right. That's what we're asking Google. So this is Google giving us this information. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the first quotation marks and what you want to type in is HTTP colon forward slash forward slash. And now we're going to get a separate set of results because this is 67. Now we're going to go to the next. All right. So again, it's giving us very similar results, but it's giving us more. Here's some omitted. And then you can, again, we can go right through this. All right. Then the next one is going to be this. So we want to put this into quotation marks. Okay. But this time we're going to put www. All right. Now, again, it's given us 17 more links. Then here's another one that we can do. We can put in the HTTPS. Okay. And then it's going to give us 55. It's going to give us even more. Some of them are going to repeat, but some of them are going to be different. Now, again, I could show a lot more. There's, I'm sure there's a lot that are being omitted down here. But again, I just want to give you the advanced search operators. Now, let's say that we're looking for an internal page. You could look for an internal page. And then here, we'll take this a step further. Let me share with you another thing. So let me let me show you this. So again, we'll use myself as an example, okay? But what we're going to do is we're going to put it in quotes. We're going to put Chris Palmer marketing.com. And then we're going to put the quotes. We're going to put a space minus site colon, and we're going to do the search. But now this time, what we're going to do is we're going to hit space and put in a quote. We're going to put another quotation mark. And what we want to add is a keyword, okay? So we can add in, say, I don't know, CTR. All right, so now we're looking for that keyword. All right, so CTR, and we'll press enter. Now we can see not only the sites that are building backlinks, but are containing a particular anchor text a lot of times, but more notably, what's the backlink contain? What's the title contain? What's the anchor text contain? We're able to really start narrowing it down. So you can pull out, you have HTTPS, you have HTTP, you have WWW. And here's what I'm talking about. Each of the searches over here, you can put in variations of the links that are pointing in. On top of that, another one is you can go grab their IP address. Yes, you can go grab your competition's IP address. And then you can really take a look. Also, do a screaming frog analysis. Pull in that, see if they have any subdomains attached to it. You can also pull in subdomains by searching the IP address. Just pull that in and see if there's anything else attached to the IP. All right. So that's another way to find out what kind of links are being built in. Sometimes people are clever and they want to build to uh, particular uh, web addresses. All right. So I've given you a massive breakdown here. I've shared with you today how you can find hidden search results indexed links. I'm also giving you a way to find the most authoritative links and the most relevant links according to Google. I've shared with you multiple variations. I've shared with you this the way to do these search parameters. On top of that, even to break it down and start searching for keywords. I tried to give you as much as I possibly can. I hope you walk away from today's video with a, a plethora of knowledge. Now you can start finding what's most authoritative, what's hidden. And just for a quick reminder, just to make this easy, here's what you do. Quotation marks, I'll put it bigger so you could see it just in case. So again, you could put the uh, website address.com quotation marks, press a space bar minus site colon. Okay. And then you put it in, uh, Chris Palmer marketing.com. And then you'll run that. Now, if you want to add more over here, you go to the quotation marks, you do the HTTP colon forward slash forward slash. And then if you want to get even more results, then you put www. Okay. So www dot and then you can even do the HTTPS, but usually it's going to kick back the same results. And then if you want even more, you come over here, you press spacebar and put in quotation marks a specific keyword. I hope this breaks it down for you. My name is Chris Palmer. If you have any questions related to this topic or any other, feel free to ask in the section below. If there's anything that I can help you with, chrispalmerseo.com or visit chrispalmermarketing.com. It's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you so much for your time. And I always look forward to seeing you in the next SEO tips, how to find your competitors' backlinks 
and hidden backlinks and authoritative backlinks video. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.